Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to install a homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii along with a backup loader so you can play backups on there as well. For this you're going to need a legit copy of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess SD card. I just have a 1 gig and a card reader. Both these that you get for $15. Actually, it's not expensive at all. And make sure you have a Wii, obviously, and a Wii, num and a Wii controller with a nunchuck. Need that. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to go to this website, WeeVamp.com. This website is awesome because everything's here. Just go on the left hand side, right where right here where it says downloads. And assuming that you have version 3.2, what your files you're going to need to download are Homebrew Channel, right here, and Twilight Hack. Follow whichever uh, version you have. I have 3.2, but 3.3 uh, and 3.4 are on there as well. Also, um, while you're here, go to Utilities. This just helps you out later on. Um, I'm going to probably make this a two part video. So, backup loader, uh, WinRare, WinRare, however you want to pronounce it, and Image Burn. All the files are here to download. So, like I said, this guy's freaking awesome and I love his website. I watched plenty of other videos on this same procedure and just this website makes things so much less complicated because everything's right here. Okay, so once you have all the files, you're going to see these on your desktop, I'm assuming. Yes, I do love koi fish, that's why they're on my desktop. Um, homebrew, Twilight Hack, and SD files for Windows. They also have it for uh, Mac, if that's by chance what you have. Once you extract, you're going to get those files. I don't understand why this sucks and you can't read it. Um, well, anyways, I'll read it for you. This one says Homebrew Channel. This one says Private. That's the Twilight Hack. And then this just says SD Card Files for Windows. That's uh, Backup Loader. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is when you have your SD card, okay, you need to click on Homebrew Channel. Okay. Just take all these, right, highlight them, copy them and you want to put them on the root of your SD card like this okay then for private just click and drag and put it on there I already have done both of those so this is what should be on the root of your SD card root me as soon as you plug it in and you find it or you hit click files or whatever BS to see you should not have to click on any files that's what root of SD card means basically sorry for these annoying black lines this is because my monitor is a piece of crap alright so let's go through this real quick this is what should be on your SD card apps N64 ROMs private scum we load a boot and read me okay once you have that you my friend are all good now, just take your SD card. Okay, now assuming that you already have a save on Zelda. Okay, once all you basically need that for is just to sit tell your Nintendo Wii that, okay, I already have the game, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so what you need to do is. Let me see what this is. Sorry guys, doing this all by myself, so it kind of makes it complicated. I'll see if I can do this one-handed. Okay. Go to data management, save, WSD, okay. Click on your SD card. Okay, now assuming you're USA, which I am, you click on that and hit copy. Oh, okay. Well, it says that the data is already there because I already had this hacked. If that's even what you really want to call it, I don't really consider this to be a hack. But that's what you do. You hit, and it'll copy it onto your Nintendo Wii. 
So, back, 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 blah, blah, blah. Now, go up here. Start up Zelda. Make sure you have, um, before you put all that on your SD card that I just showed you, you need to delete that Zelda data off of there first. I repeat, delete it. You don't want it on there. Okay, now you're going to see two files here. Let me turn this down a little bit because that's getting pretty friggin' annoying. Okay, now. Um, what you could do, I mean, either way, um, but if you're not going to mess anything up by hitting the wrong file. Like, I think mine is two. Uh, you could check on the bottom of your disc or whatever on the actual Zelda game, but we're not doing that because it doesn't really matter. Obviously, if, one, if this doesn't do anything the first time, then obviously use the wrong one. So... Just restart it and uh, use the other one. Now, once this game loads up and you see this screen right here, take your nunchuck and hold down. And what it's doing is it's installing it right now. And then it's going to sit there and tell you this. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Then I'll say press 1 to continue. Press 1. Now at this screen, let's see if I can zoom in. All you gotta do is just keep hitting the reset button. Man, I'm seriously, I do not know why this is being so crappy for me right now. Well, anyways, on the bottom it'll say installation complete. Press accept or cancel. Accept means press um, reset again. Then your Wii will reboot or restart. Hey, look at that. Yay. Homebrew channel. If you see this, that means you installed it properly. Now there should not be anything. Okay, okay. Then you'll see this. None of this will do anything for you. I have, this one works. Uh, Scum, which is point and click games. I think they're stupid. Anytime I try running these, they don't work. I don't know why. But anyway, so that's that. And now I'm going to show you how to install the backup loader, which is pretty much the purpose of having the homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii.